Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Ryan back with a Cubase video and today we're just going to be doing a really really quick video on basically how to set up a uh, Groove Agent kit. So like a custom sample kit where you can put in your own audio and assign it to the pads and stuff. Um, this is something that I didn't know how to do at first. So when I first started using Groove Agent, uh, I was using the user kits and um, you know using samplers and all these other things wasn't something I was too familiar with as a kind of like a beginner slash uh, like pre intermediate I don't know what the term is uh, anyway swiftly moving on <laughs> but this is something that if you at that point where you want to learn how to put samples into Groove Agent this is how you do it so I've just opened up a Groove Agent track just here um, I'm not going to select a preset or anything like that um, we're just going to essentially we're going to open a folder which has got our um, you know samples already saved um, now you can obviously go on to things like splice um, you know find copyright free uh, audio samples online that kind of stuff um, to obviously get the the one hit samples or you can record them yourself and obviously input them uh, into groove agents so anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop this so the first one we've got a um, Cajon lower hit so I'm just going to quickly pop that in this one so there we go and you can see it's on that assigned to that pad um, now if we then go to obviously back to this and just put in like a Cajon snare I guess would be the next one if I had to guess um, put that here There you go, and obviously you can populate all these different sounds. I haven't got my MIDI keyboard plugged in at the moment, so um, I can't give you like a live demo of me playing on the keyboard, but uh, you can obviously hear by me clicking it that obviously it works and stuff. So yeah, um, and when it, obviously when it comes to your kits and stuff as well, um, you can obviously play around with the settings and, and all this other stuff. I, um, to be honest, I don't really delve deep into this side of things this is something that um if you if you're going to be playing around with the you know the processing on the audio um you might want to watch another video for that but this is just a really top line uh tutorial on how to actually set up a kit so once you've um put in all your samples what you can do is you can actually save the kit so um if i was to go to um up here uh, you can see that I've already saved a kit previously, which is like this. So in order to save uh, a new kit, you basically go on here. Um, one second. So I don't know why it's doing that. Apologies. Um, in fact, it might avoid be because I've already saved this. If I was to go out of this, sorry, just open another one. Uh, da, 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 da. So just quickly drag in um, one of the samples again. Um, so like that. Um, ah, yeah, you right click, um, save kit as, and then you can obviously save the kit. And when you go into your presets, um, you can see where I've basically saved my own kit. Um, it's been, been a minute since I've done this, so yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope this uh, video has helped anyone that might be looking to use Groove Agent for you know, more of just preset kits. Um, if you enjoyed this, obviously leave a like and comment, subscribe for more. Um, like I said in previous videos, and I can't remember if I said it in this one, I will be doing more Cubase uh, content, so for that reason as well subscribe for more just in case something comes up that might be relevant and uh yeah thank you so much guys peace bye bye